Hi everyone and welcome back to Writing Tip of the Week. My name is Julie Stigmeyer and I work with the GSCP in Writing Support. Today we're going to talk about a very specific tip, um, talking about how to capitalize diseases and theories in APA format. So that is what the APA manual advises, is to not capitalize these three categories, diseases or disorders, therapies and treatments, theories, concepts, hypotheses, etc. So let's break this down a little bit. For diseases or disorders, here are some examples of what not to capitalize. Autism spectrum disorder, major depression, diabetes, leukemia. You can see all of these, it seems like they maybe should be capitalized, but they are all lowercase. Same with therapies and treatments. Cognitive be behavior therapy, applied behavior analysis, immunotherapy, cataract surgery. None of these are capitalized. And theories, concepts, hypotheses, etc. Object permanence, associative learning model, psychoanalytic theory, theory of mind, etc. So these are all examples of things you do not need to capitalize. However, we do capitalize only one kind of exception, and that is when the name of a person is part of the disease or the theory. So Alzheimer's disease, notice here you only capitalize the A, not the D. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, so only the H. Freudian theory, Down syndrome, Maslow's hierarchy of needs. You can see that all of these examples have a person's name in them. So just be a little careful with that. And this question has come up pretty frequently, so I thought I'd share that tip. Now it's time for our mini segment, Did You Know? And I don't think I've covered this one before, but if I have, forgive me. So what's the difference between affect and effect? Well, the A, this one is a verb. This one is a noun. So let's see if we can tell how we use them in a sentence. What is the effect of the stimulus? Here you can see the word the comes before, so it, we would want to use the noun form. And here you can see this has an ed, which means there's a verb, it's a verb, so we would use the a spelling. That's all for this week's writing tip. Join me in the future for more tips and ideas. Please get in touch for writing support and happy writing.